five in the morning. I wake up to five in the morning. <laughs> I can't believe it. We're actually going to Barcelona. I had like three hours sleep, but I feel wide awake. But I feel like I'm going to feel it no, when we yeah, hit the plane. Three hours you're going to feel it. <laughs> at, least, at least five. We're on the way to the airport. Not a far journey. I think it's an hour, isn't it? Yeah. He went to go pick up my sister at like 4 30. She's watching the kids for the day. And we're heading to Barcelona for the day because he surprised me with a day trip for my birthday. And I surprised him with a day trip for his birthday. Yeah, we're just going to enjoy the day. Apparently, it's 25 degrees out there. So a lot better than here. It's raining. It's cold here. Apparently, there's a hurricane hitting here today. Oh, God. I'm I hoping that don't happen when we're on the plane. <laughs> okay. I'm also, what am I, 30, I'm basically 31 weeks from tomorrow. We did have to do like some last minute running around to my doctors to get a fit to fly note, but they've stamped it. So I've got a letter just to say in case they do ask, that I've got no complications in my pregnancy and I'm ready to fly. See you guys in Barcelona. Woo! <laughs> Barcelona, she wasn't even facing to note. She's too nosy. I'm not nosy, he slipped up. No, you slipped up. <laughs> no, I caught him out. Oh, Barcelona. <laughs> I caught him out and his reaction just said it all and I just knew. <laughs> um, yeah, but we've never been to Barcelona, so it's quite exciting to go for a day trip. But He's friend. got friends out there that we will meet. Uh, we've got to change our clothes, we've parked the car, off to the airport, it's been cold. It feels weird to have no kids with me. <laughs> <laughs> Ready for Barcelona. So guys, we are in Barcelona. Let's go to the bus station because we don't have kids, so we don't have to really worry about certain things. We I'm could so get a car, but like, it's parking, so forget that. And I'm so used to like just getting at the airport, trying to get a taxi to our hotel, but we're not in a rush to do anything like that. We're just heading straight to the centre. Yep. Let's go. This is the first time um, Francesca is traveling without the kids in about what, four years now? Four years. 2020 when we went to Santorini. Yeah. We only had one kid. We're getting the train. I'm not fussed because we don't have the kids. Even though I'm pregnant and we still want to get a car. Well, the bus would have been cheaper, but. Heading to the center. Let's see. Um, what we're doing. It takes ages to come though. 12.30 already. Yeah, a lot of time going. We gotta get straight to business. Okay. First we gotta fill up my belly. Hungry. You want street food today, don't you? Guys, I think we lost the boss. No, no, we don't even have enough time to be lost. I should have just got off at Central, but my friend told me to come off at Catalunya. I don't know where I'm going. This is even the That's what I'm saying. I haven't reached the city centre yet. It's 1 30. We should have been there already. We're not going to panic. We're going to enjoy the time we have. Got me up with a friend. He said there's some street food. So, anyway, we should set a goal. How much we spend in Barcelona? What price are we saving? What overall for the day? Yeah, oh, food by itself. 30. 30? Okay, that 30 is the goal. Pounds. 30 pounds, not 30 euro. Where's Europe? Let's see. And let's see what we can get at the food market. So we have hit the, I don't even want to pronounce it, the food market. The name will be down here. Uh, my friend has told me to come here. This is where they do the meats. I'm not even allowed to allow me a chorizo like that. Ah. You're gonna try it though. Yeah, you're damn right. <laughs> so, what? this it's market, I'm actually in really. love. We're tempted to try a lot of things, but we're on our budget. We want to spend 20 euros, but I ain't gonna lie. If we have to go over 20 euros, I'm gonna have to go over 20 euros. Because those strawberries are looking so tempting, especially because I'm craving chocolate. Even though I'm 31 weeks pregnant, chocolate right now is my weakness. Yeah. 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 Oh! Pecan. <laughs> I can't speak the Gallo. 
<laughs> My mum and dad too English. Your mum don't speak to you. Unfortunately not. Where are you from? Oh yeah, I know Versailles. Yeah, yeah. Ilo, Ilo. Ilo, Ilo. Ilo, yeah. <laughs> that was nice though. Yeah. Oh, no, that no, was I'm banging. Gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a kilo of that. That was oh. tasting scrumptious. Huh? That, that was nice. Was it was one. like the week caramelly one. nut and um, syrupy. Magic. <laughs> so we're trying this pistachio croissant. Yeah. We're gonna try it. First purchase, 250 euros, yeah? But it's fresh. fresh. To be fair, in London, you wouldn't get a fresh one for this one. You know when they're not tight on the pistachio as well? So, German lady. It's heaven. Oh, I need to try. Oh, two bites and it's done. Mm. Okay. It's got like pistachio hazelnut. 10 10. Oh. You can have lunch here like every day because there's so much different options as well. So this is 550 euros. It's like a mixed meat of uh, like condiments, right? Yep. Breadstick cheese, chorizo, and salami. Prosciutto. Oh, that looks good, you know. Let's see. Don't tell no one. Pour from a <laughs> Oh, churros. I thought you were full. <laughs> Come too full for churros. Let's try. How is it? It's like caramelly nutty. What's the texture like? Is that cake? Yeah. It's a cake. So I got some. This is going on your credit card. This is going on my credit card, yeah. Nah. 39 35. 39. Okay, guys. It's three o'clock now. We did waste a lot of time waiting for the train and then trying to get to the city centre. Then we walked around the market. We did go overboard. Too excited, <laughs> we actually did really so well. Someone got too excited with chocolate. <laughs> Let's 40 just say. bloody pounds. 35 pounds of what? Chocolate. Then one of them is dead. The rest, <laughs> the rest is all right. But it's fresh chocolate. You can tell it's high quality. Yeah, the what caught us off guard was the weight of the chocolate. So obviously that's how they get you. It's a very famous tourist spot. You can tell that a lot of people go there. And obviously it's not cheap chocolate, it's luxurious chocolate and it tastes really good. But the price you're paying is, yeah. The long story short, I spent 40 pounds on chocolate. I went overboard. <laughs> so it's a 22 minute walk, he said, to, where are we going? We're going to the Arc. We're going to the Arc of Barcelona. We're trying to find a bus or a train that can take us there, but. Yeah, it's just... Imagine Seville. Oh really? Seville looks like this. But yeah, that market, I really liked it actually because it's got like different stuff. You can literally fill your belly there for like cheap. If you want to be cheap, you can be cheap. If you want to be going overboard like I did, then you can go overboard. <laughs> We're following the map. Little alleyways like this, I don't mind walking it. But that's what I'm saying, because of the scenery. I'm like, yeah. Oh. And you know when the weather's like not, it's not too hot and it's not too cold. A bit windy today, but it's, it's not bothering me at all. Better yeah. than the UK. <laughs> better than the UK. Right now it's cold and a bit rainy there. Just back to my sister as well. The kids are fine. They've dropped Kairat nursery and the other two are in the park. We've got a few more hours left. I can't believe it. I don't want to go home. <laughs> to the famous as you guys can see they have been constructing it for so long but every time you do come back there's something new you can tell the difference with the brickwork and stuff like that it's actually really huge <laughs> when you come i do wish you'd run the drone we are with some friends at the moment so we're gonna go around they're gonna take us around and see it from different angles you can definitely tell that this is the old brick that side where we were over there was the new brick it is packed with tourists, obviously. So 
about 30 euros to get in per person to go inside but I think we'll save that for next time the queue to go in right now is a bit mad as well next time we'll go inside but for now we're just chilling at least we've come here and seen it for the day I can imagine how packed this gets during peak season because it's not even peak season Probably like 40 minutes. Mm, the day's gone so quick, but we've met up with his friend. They showed us around. She showed us things that I didn't actually know, to be honest. Yeah. Barcelona is definitely not doing well one day. There's a lot of walking, because you'll spend a lot if you get. I mean, like, I've been walking like for 30, 30 40 minutes. Bump is like, she was kicking a lot, just to say, you need to sit down, mum. And then we ended up going to the uh, famous, what's it called? I can never say these um, names. So, like one of the famous uh, places, uh, I'll put it, I'll put it on. <laughs> <laughs> and then we walked back, sat down, had some tapas, and that was actually really nice because I'm actually quite full. So <laughs> hey, the, the steak was buttery. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was a lot of oil, a lot of oil. And so yeah, they took us to this like local tapas place. If you eat around, like obviously the tourist attraction, their food isn't great. They said it's like more frozen food. Yeah. And obviously the tourist friends. We just said goodbye to them. It was so good to see them as well. Um, and we're heading to the beach before we head back to the airport. <laughs> One day is definitely not enough, but we'll be back. I'll be back definitely probably in kids. about two weeks. <laughs> two weeks? What? Yeah, we're going to do some business. Heading to the beach. Obviously you're not going to swim. We've just arrived at the beachfront and I'm just so upset that we didn't get to spend a few more hours here. It would have been nice to just sit down walk around the beachfront and then have like maybe a fried calamari. Doris was looking for fried yeah. calamari, I don't think we'll have time. The vibes in Barcelona are just different. You just feel like very relaxed, even though that there's a lot of people, especially because the weather's nice, it's not too cold. Today was a bit windy, but yeah, it's I mean. just like yeah, the best. We did spend a lot of money on transport as well. Uh, it's like 20 minute journeys and it took about 20 pounds each. But on food wise, we actually didn't spend that much. I screwed my chocolate because yeah. did not expect that price. It is what it is. Has I can't believe people are actually still swimming in this water. The new ones have the... But yeah, that yeah. is our few hours in yeah. Barcelona. Wish we could have done more. There was a lot more to see because you definitely can't do yeah. this in a day. Definitely, definitely gonna come back here with the kids and the family. Maybe like a little weekend trip as well. Yeah. A lot of our time did get spent on waiting for the train and then we got off at the wrong station uh, because we had no idea where we were going. He was messaging his friend yeah. to you know, ask where to, to go. We were underground, had no signal. And then uh, we had to ask like locals and then the locals said, get off here, go there. Ended up getting a cab, so waiting for a cab was uh, about a 20 minute wait. So it was just a lot of like waiting time. We walked around a lot today as well. So look at it, the vibe is just vibes. <laughs> How did you find it today? It was really good. The market, it was all rush rush though. We had yeah. to get obviously cabs everywhere, which makes it more expensive. Actually, we walked quite a lot actually. A lot of steps Taudine made us get in with his wife. <laughs> It's great seeing them. Um, I actually kind of like Barcelona. It's yeah, a I lot do. more quieter, chilled. You feel safe. Obviously, I knew that this one would like the beach. I thought we would it's have more really time. Nice. But literally, as soon as we finished, I was looking at the time. I was looking. I was like, sick. I was like, are we going to make it? But let's see it. Well, look, quick. now everything's lighting up as well. Look, it's literally golden hour now. now. We didn't Everything bring the drone today. On. Look, everything is turning on. Look over there. It looks like you're in Florida. Right yeah. Here. I don't even feel like I'm in Europe, this part. It has that Miami vibe. I think the kids will like it. You know Kyra, when he sees palm trees as well, his mood just lifts and he gets so happy. I know Yukari as well, would definitely love this place. Barcelona, till next time. Till next time. Because we got a plane to catch. And we got 20 minutes to get to that airport. <laughs> to the background, guys. That's our day trip done. Thank you for the birthday present. Now it's your turn next week. Bye.